evening all welcome back to space engineers so we're continuing our i guess our, our how to best phrase this without being rude we're, we're going to design a poop deck no <laughs> not really but i always hoped that there would be some deck on a shit where you actually shit i always thought that'd be quite funny anyway um we are developing our miner here and this is um beginning of i think the next step so we currently have um this miner and it's not quite fit for purpose okay and the biggest reason being is that firstly it's only got six miners okay and its profile is as thin as the ship so if you mine into an asteroid the rock is very close to the hull so the easiest way to do that is to make it a cone so there's obviously going to be a huge kind of grinding uh, drilling uh, surface area at the front that we then are going to switch into a profile sleek rear end so in theory there should be no rocks bashing into the side of this but i'm always building you see here i'm actually building a cover around our our poop suit <laughs> oh, God. oh i'm so sorry this is just so crass but <laughs> it is effectively the, the it's the it's the quote in hyphens the pooper for this ship because it just removes um you know unwanted materials from the uh cargo holding <clears throat> and it's actually quite an effective thing but keep tuned because we'll actually work on this because we can make that even more awesome but you notice i've actually built a, a structure around look at that beacon the beacon looks amazing doesn't it i do love the way that beacons give off this glow um <clears throat> more ships and more more modules should have that i think reactors should glow when they're under strain and under stress the reactor should actually like heat up that'd be pretty awesome wouldn't it uh, but here we go so this is what we're going to do we're actually going to extend the mining drills and the tubes connecting them so that we have a, a very big area of surface that we can mine and then this will all be automated into um the the single cargo hold so this is this is literally a fully automatic miner and i'm really quite excited with this one because this is going to be quite big as well as you can see we're building two more on either side so that's basically eight on the front and then we're going to build three above and three below all of them connected through the the conveyor system to that single cargo hold at the back really cool stuff um, and I think this this certainly is what I think drives me with this game because it's like okay I've got this and I've got it to this level can I push it even further and I think this is a great example this ship was a load of bollocks it didn't quite work but by doing these modifications to it we now are making the ship work and we're actually making it incredibly effective as a miner now <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do with this ship is not mine anything significantly valuable this is going to be the iron grabber because iron i'm running out of iron and iron is the base building block for all of the materials so i'm actually in a bit of trouble by not having enough iron okay so that's that's the plan and we're going to sniff out large areas of iron so you know there, there are asteroids which literally are just all internally made of iron and that's what we're going to go and look for um not too interested in other things i think we'll we'll obviously mine what we can when we have the opportunity but i think really this is you can mine you can literally raid the haulers for that so it's maybe just best to go and do that um i wouldn't say there's much point mining some of the rarer stuff when i mean uranium yes but platinum silver you know stuff like that probably not gold and, and iron i think are relatively common but and you can do a mass mining on them like you see here but um i would say that this is probably overkill for that now what we need to do is figure out how we're going to link the above or rather the, the 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 i guess the top and bottom row and the way we do that is obviously just by taking out the tube there and putting a conveyor in now the conveyor mechanics is excellent excellent because it just senses it works out what we're doing all the way through this so i'm just so psyched it's working really well um, and as you can see that's our that's our initial beginnings of a tube up to this higher level so what we're going to do is we're just going to put three on here now again everything has to be braced and everything has to be built with struts because if you don't then you're going to lose half the ship so if i you know if, if literally i just left that as one you know tube holding them all on if a rock hits that tube and breaks it then i lose part of the ship and there's not a lot i can do to get it back I just grind it down and have to rebuild it which is annoying so i'm going to try and avoid that but so you know again it's not the easiest thing to do this comes from just knowledge and experience of doing it um, and as you can see here, what I'm trying to do is work out what the uh, the optimum uh, positioning for these upper drills will be. And I think it's kind of that. 
So if I just build one more, again, you have to build a little bit of a ledge just to get these drills on. It's not the easiest thing to do. I'm just trying to work out actually there what makes sense. And then as you see there, we then probably need to put another one. Uh, that's not quite working. Um, yeah, okay, no, I think we're gonna probably not do it this way. We're gonna go and potentially, I think, put the tubes in maybe to begin with. Um, yeah that's annoying oh there we go so that's that now looks in line doesn't it i think it is yeah it looks in line so again just had to go one more block this way and then that works quite nicely and then we'll only do three on this top bit and i think that's that's probably more than enough um you could obviously make this just huge you could have many dozens of of drills all auto linked now etc and i think now that they brought in that mechanic it's very elegant <clears throat> indeed and i'm quite and I'm quite excited about it. I think it's going to mean, I mean, there's so much more you can do with it. We're just showing you the mining capability of this at the moment. But think about it. You could have in the video for the patch, they actually showed you automatic reloaders. And these are just clips, the whole flying in a circle through space and then entering space and then drifting gently. Then go, you could have a ship with a hopper, uh, or a collector on the front of it that then just picks up yo know, clips. I mean, that's a lovely idea. I do like it. Now, I don't know how stable it would be because a lot, you know, if the ship moves to the clips, then bugger off into space, possibly. But I think either way, it's just a lovely, lovely idea. And again, I'm really quite excited about, about the cleverness of this because I'm, you know, I think this is really, really good stuff. So there we go. Our front bottom pieces are looking quite good. Um, we'll probably have to weld them in a bit more, but the tubing for this is going to be simple. It's just going to be a single tube up. There you go. And then everything will just connect through the back port. So I'm not doing it on the top or bottom. I probably could have, but I'm not gonna. I think in this case, sod it. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Post in the comments, tell me how you're connecting these things. Because they have, as you see, there's one above and below, and there's one in the middle center. You see the one there. So that, that's the one we're going to connect to on this case. It's probably wrong but it'll do, it'll do. And I think we then need to make sure that everything's connected through a pretty strong um, armor block grid as well. So there we go. So we now build our conveyors. So these will pull ore out. And then we just need to obviously tube them all together. And you see that's coming together nicely. And then we just tube it all into one. This is so much fun. I can't tell you how awesome this is. This this is the little bit of tech kit that I've been waiting for in another game. And, and the fact that it's in a space game, oh, it's so good. And the coding is so good. Look at that. It's already detected. It's right. It's gone green. Oh, I love it really really love it is it green or yellow am i going colorblind but people tell me it's green not like yellow to me but uh, who knows i know it is a bit green anyway <laughs> so as you see that's red that's not telling me it's, it's working so as we do go bing then it goes i mean it's just brilliant isn't it now these joints are quite weak so this is something we're going to have to obviously watch is that we're going to have to obviously be careful of how that's going to work. Plus, at the front, so on the top piece, you notice that the uh, the cockpit's in the way. Plus, I never really wanted the cockpit that far forward. So I think this is turning it into being more of a barge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drill away and we're going to sit this above the reactor. Okay, now, not the best ideas I've had, but, you know, if, if it dies, it dies. And, you know, you've got infinite respawns, haven't you? At least you think I have. <laughs> Um, but we're going to see how this works. It may work, it may not. But I think having the the cockpit back here makes a lot of sense because then it's much more of a, I don't know, it's more of a barge. You know, you're 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 away from the danger if that makes sense. So as we grind away our cockpit there, lovely. Now we now have access to um, the the main tube connecting the uh, to the large can. So this is working really nicely. And I think that probably just something to bear in mind: large cans are better than medium cans because they have doors on all the the, the what the eight no six axes. Um, and if you don't have that, uh, the medium can only has two. So you have to be very careful of that um, to just bear that in mind. There we go, just building our, oh, we're only gonna put, we're gonna put three on top here. I mean, we could do more, but I think for now, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this works. And that's coming together nicely. So here we go, plug in again, more drills, even more. And that's, that's positioned beautifully. Look at that, perfect. And then we just drill these in. Now, again, you know, one of the things to bear in mind is that this, this isn't in incredibly intensive on parts because small thing you know the small ships don't use that many parts are, at all so i think that's definitely worth considering because <clears throat> life can become quite easy um on these smaller ships but when you start to do large ships 
as you start to get a bit of a it becomes a bit of a pain but look at that so we've got quite a you know a circular almost grid structure on this thing now that's looking pretty decent oh those <laughs> you see those plates fall away that was awesome um and as we start to drill these last few bits in this is looking pretty good um and to be honest you know <clears throat> as long as you keep everything generally central so you see the the mass is generally centered um, you're not going to have any problems with thrust. You're not going to have any problems with the uh, the centrifugal forces of these drills when they're spinning either. Um, that That's something I've learned. Now, I, I could be talking absolute shash, so please post in the comments if I've got this right. But certainly if you keep everything, I guess, symmetrical, then you're balancing it also as well. So much like a flywheel, you're actually balancing it all so it doesn't you know, rotate and wobble. Um, and I've got to admit that I've not noticed as you know almost any issues actually with this um, thing generally. Okay, uh, so as we go, running out of bits again, but this is the beauty of building near our, our forges <clears throat> is we have fast and ready access to all of our our bits and bobs. And I think I'm running low on quite a few things actually. So I think this miner is coming together just at the right point. Certainly is coming together at the right point. So we go, last for drill is coming together. Now all we need to do is then just connect this up. So let's just finish these pipes. As you see, they're coming together nicely. And then same as before, we just get our conveyor. We just plug those into the back. We probably could do it other ways, but I think this is fine for now. Uh, this works, so I'm happy with that. And then all we do is we just connect left and right, and then we just connect up and down, and then we are done. And then we need to do is just weld it all into position and then go for a test drive. Now, there's always something, again, look at the evolution of this ship as it's gone. I mean, my God, where it started and where it is now is very, very different, I think you'll agree. Um, there we go, look at that. So that should all go green eventually once this goes online, ding, there we go. So that's looking nice. So there we go, you know, it's all working so comfortably and easily. I'm not having to mess with any of this. And that to me just shows really good programming. Look at that, it's all connected, all green. Anything from those drills is taken directly through the single chute into the cargo hold. And then the beauty of this is that the cargo hold um, automatically can then be programmed to eject everything out into the hopper. So let's go for a test. Now this thing is going to be, you know, I hope it doesn't explode as I uh, as I try it. Um, but I think this is going to become quite an important ship for the fleet. As you notice, it's getting bigger and bigger as well because you don't want to have to spend too much time mining and you want to start bulk mining where you can as well. So let's go and take this bad boy for a spin. And I think in, in terms of how this thing's powered, it's got plenty of power, the reactor's holding it. This is, you know, this seems to be coming together quite nicely. And I think, yeah, this is going this could potentially work. This could work, you never know. So there we go. And we'll cut it there. I think we'll, <laughs> we'll join us tomorrow when we test drive this thing. And um, we'll see how we can make that automated dropping of ore into the ship a lot easier as well. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.